Chancellor's Log, January 9th, 1937. It's done. The Royal Navy, as the world knew it, is dead. What started out as a navy with over 200 ships is now reduced to 8. A mere 4% of their former strength. The British Lords have tried to save face by throwing another poor Admiral under the double-decker bus. They had to find a scapegoat to pin this massive defeat on. This Admiral was only in office for a few months. Enough to hold him accountable for strategy, but not enough for him to change the Royal Navy in the form of upgrade. Our next step is to force the British Revolution. We will now deploy our Navy to take control of the North Sea, the Channel and the North Atlantic. Nothing will get in or out of Britain. With this blockade in place, Britain will quickly succumb. British rely on their colonies for vital supplies, so cutting them off is like cutting their economic and industrial umbilical cord. The British economy will start to spasm. Factories will close due to lack of supplies. People will be fired from their jobs. Inflation will run rampant as fewer and fewer goods are available in the country. Revolution is inevitable. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back. It's episode 36 of The Long War. The British refuse to relent. The big guns are not yet silent. And we are in fact building more. We're currently building 20 destroyers as well as two battleships. The battleships that are currently being built are, let me check again, uh, Siegfried and Kurfürst Friedrich Wilhelm, armed with eight 16-inch guns. Now I have the availability now of the 18-inch Mark II, so I think it is high time to start refitting some of the ships that have those guns to make them more effective. The 19s and the 20s, not stellar. Um, they simply don't reload good enough. I need to work on that. So I'm going to tell the researchers to go only for the big guns. We're going to see if we can make these things work. Now, which are the biggest guns? Let's have a look. I think that's the Braunschweig. Yeah, Braunschweig has the 18.9ers. Here's her 1931 refit or 1933 refit. 1936 refit. And that's when she went back to 16-inch guns. Right. Okay, if I were to refute my changes, if I were to change ship back to 18-inchers, I would probably have to take out some of the secondary armament or armor. Because these guns weigh 1,851 tons, whereas the 18-inchers were... <laughs> that's 2,000 tons for one turret. 3,000 tons for a triple. Hmm. If I would put one of those things on, and I tell them to be only 20% longer, not 18.9 inch, they reload in 242 seconds. That is still such a drastic increase. And if I tell them to just be standard long barrel or standard barrel length, 55 seconds, 139 seconds, it's still really long. That's with the best auto loader I can get. How about focusing first on better loading systems? Uh, discard, yes. How about focusing first on bigger and better loading systems before I focus on building bigger guns or trying to fit those 18 inches? So that would be not research into big guns, but research into gun layout, I think it is, or tur turret mechanisms. Unknown what we're researching, and gun layout is not interesting. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go for this, turret mechanisms. And meanwhile, we have a bit of a convoy here. The Battlecruiser Mars, once again at it, is going to take down three more cruisers, and the DDs are going to hunt down the transports. I hope this is going to be another big blow to the morale and the economy of the British. A few more transports sunk should seal the deal. I really am planning on eliminating the Brits, but it does mean I have to stay at war with them. Oh, we're going to turn that way, gentlemen. We have to stay whoop, at war with them. And I'm not sure if they're going to be able to hold out for very long. But sometimes the game just forces you to have peace. It's not what I want. 
do not want peace. The full destruction of the British Empire. Where's the rest of the convoy? There. 36 kilometers out. Okay, DDs. I want you to skirt around the edges. Uh, we're going to split up, because one of you can do 35 knots, and the other one can only do 31. 17. Six guns. Four turrets. Huh. What did I sacrifice? Because this thing is smaller, faster, and has more guns. <laughs> what did I sacrifice? Doesn't have radar? Does have radar. Maybe that's it. Mars, are you done yet? Or are you just getting started? Alright, fine. Now, the British really don't have many cruisers left, so... Arguably, either this convoy is very important, or they really want to sink down... Or the, the, yeah, they're going to take down the Mars. Because she is such an icon of the German war machine. I wouldn't blame them. 11 clicks out. Your torps can only do 8-4, and your torps can do... 12? 12? Are you new? Where are you? Oh, I've seen these before. There's torpedo launchers over there. Yeah, we've definitely seen these before. Not that deadly. Just... Having the torpedo connect with the Mars would be a bit of a blow to morale. So let's not. I'm not very interested in that. 17, you can start turning. Keep going. The ping on the convoy? There. Yeah, you're heading the right way. You're gonna go that way. But really not doing any kind of damage here. Still nothing. Conditions are good. Use IG. What are you trying to hit, my friend? Whatever it is, you're doing a really terrible job at it. Come on, Mars. I know you have what it takes. I've seen you do it before. That was a 15-inch hit that did 28 damage? On the main deck. Okay. Gloucester, Danae, and Champion. I'm trying to provoke the Champion to launch torpedoes at me. So far, she's not taking the bait. Put the secondaries in the Gloucester. A couple of 8.9ers should persuade her to either take her business elsewhere or sink. 8.7s? Old turrets? Fairly old. This is the Mark III for the Brits? Hmm. Okay. Not particularly pretty ships. Gloucester is starting to flood. Ah. You found your mark. Now go kill it. Means that the 17 is even closer. 16 kilometers out. Good. Mars, keep him busy. Very good hit. That's 20% of their structural integrity down. Gloucester is probably dead slow now, like 15 knots. Still going down, slow down. Accuracy in the Mars is pretty terrible. Is this thing fast? Yeah, 35 knots. As well as slightly less beam. Longitudinal weight of set still bad. 35 Yeah, you're definitely going to get murdered by the 8-inch. I really haven't hit them with anything else. Yeah, a 5-inch gun. That must have been a DD. Still don't quite get why these things are different. They only got gear turbines? Wow. 17. I'm going to check how old she is after the battle is done. I think it's going to be a fairly old ship. Are you guys done with the convoy yet? You can't see the convoy. Well, it's right there. Go get it. This 
is taking longer than I'd expected. Destroyed another secondary gun. Trained level of crew, so at least they're not panicking. Much to their credit. Okay, we're going to turn into the enemy heavy cruisers. This ought to do it. Flooding will take her. It's only partials. I know it's high explosive, but it's not as much as I expected. So we got a what? 16 and 22. I'm going to be pushing into two ships which have torpedoes. Okay. You fire SAP, right? Now you fire... Yeah, you fire SAP. Okay, let's do it. Okay, my DDs have arrived at the transports and are committing their murder. There goes another one. I don't have to micromanage the DDs, thankfully. They'll do their murderous business all by themselves. <laughs> yeah, and the enemy doesn't have any return fire either. There goes another one. Hello. Incoming torps from Dane. I'm going to switch fire to the Dane. Champion is already fairly, fairly badly damaged. Because of her bad engines, she's not going to get anywhere. What engines are you spurting? Turbines. Okay. Pretty advanced. There goes the spin drift and the sunfish. A quick look. The only risk is collision, but I think that's the only thing that's going to be able to kill my destroyers. Because none of these are armed, right? No, they are! They're all packing 4.3s. Mark 4s, in fact. Yet, not particularly deadly. Okay. Okay, finish off the champion. I think she just torpedoed us. Swordsman's down. Yeah, there's the torpedo set. Go to times five. There. Finish them. Beautiful. That was an excellent salvo. Last man standing, I think. The tormentor. <laughs> Trust me, friend, this is the Tormentor. It's the V-19 and it's the V-17 who have completed their objective and can now either rejoin the battle cruiser or... Oh, they're probably going to be too late by the time they get here. Danae is starting to flood. Her engine is out, or at least one of them is. So she's going to lose speed pretty quick. There's a second engine out. She's down to 26 knots. My accuracy is probably going to be skyrocketing 70%. 1200 damage, 1600 damage. Dana is down to 16 knots now. Funnel's been destroyed. Interesting that the secondary and primary tower have not yet been destroyed. It's kind of what I was expecting at this point. Buoyancy dropping. And the Mars has only lost 3% of her structure. All the torpedoes have been destroyed, so we can turn the Mars broadside and have even her stern guns get involved in this fight. Structural integrity might fail before flooding does. Yeah, dead. Okay, so that's the convoy down. Uh, Mars probably going to need a few beauty finishes, but aside from that she'll be fine. And the Brits have lost another three cruisers and 12 transports. Could be pretty serious for the British economy now. Because they're going to be hit twofold. One, they will not have any ships left, any merchant ships. Two, I might actually be able to blockade the British Empire. Because the British have six ships. I have 51. Uh, my economy is still not bigger, surprisingly. My power projection is also not greater than theirs. But that's about to change as we send this fleet out. And if I have any intact battleships, which I do not, 
No. Everything's undergoing repair. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at the V-17. She's a V-17-class destroyer. I don't think she's ever been refit. How many of those do I have left? One, two, three, four. The V-16? She's similarly old. Hmm. Hmm. They're still useful gunboats, especially when you look at how deadly they have been in dealing with the enemy convoys. So I say we upgrade them, the 16 and the 17. They're from 1924, they're 12 years old and they haven't been updated once. Okay, let's go fix that. Let's go give them a diesel. And let's give them maximum range so they can harass enemy convoys. Let's give them oil too. Uh, Generation 2 radar system, Quinston's rangefinder is fine, sonar 2. I have 18 inch torpedoes, we can up that to 21, although for them it doesn't really matter. Electrohydraulic turret rotation, yes. Auto loaders, please. They have the new Mark IV 5.9ers now. Four weight offsets, a bit high. But I'm not sure if there's a whole lot that I can do about that. It's increased aft, four, and main belt. And these things were what, 31 knots? 35. Okay, so they're good. They're fast. Main deck, let's put that on 1, 1, and 1. Conning tower on 1, 5. Turret armor, 1. Four weight offsets, pretty bad. Oh well. It'll be fine. I suppose we can even upgrade their speed a little. 36 knots? 36. Okay, so that's 1. Now I want to upgrade the 16 design as well. Uh, oh, we do have an upgrade. We upgraded them a couple of years after they were initially constructed. So that's the, the V17. Hold on. Otherwise, I'm going to have to refit the refit. Let me check. Yeah, sorry. I'm doing things a bit wrong. Okay, so this needs to be the upgrade to the V16 refit. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing things twice. So, you are going to get refit. And you're going to get, not gear turbines, but diesels. You're going to get your speed upgraded. You're going to get your oil upgraded. You're going to get your radar upgraded. Your sonar array. Your auto loaders. Um, and your torpedo tubes. Although, ironically, at this point, there's nothing left. Firing angles are absurdly bad. Is it possible to elongate the ship? No, that's stuck. Okay. Increase their range. Give them a better, more favorable battle chance. I don't care about the torpedoes on these things. I really don't. 18 inch is fine. Armor. Mm. Let's say we give them as much armor as possible. Oh, maybe not that much. Uh, put more on the aft deck and less on the fore deck. Put more on the conning tower, yes. A bit on the superstructure, and we're done. Okay. Save the design, and now I need to refit all of those. Three months? Four? Something like that? Shouldn't take me too long. Let's have a look. Refit. Only this guy. Uh, refit, refit, right here. One month. Okay, and the other class. Repairing, repairing, repairing. Where's all the repairs, where are the refits? One month. Refitting a DD is really nice and quick. Perfect. Now, let's see what the British are going to do. Really interested. Really, really interested. Wow, there's more battles? Whoa. <laughs> Edward Marjorie Banks is suddenly replaced. That's fast. He was in Orphus less than half a year? 
Hmm? Why is this not on by default? We've been over this like about a year now. Convoy. Mm-hmm. Ah yes. Is that one of your last battle cruisers, perhaps? They are building 15 new ships. Because of course they are. What's this battle? The Comet versus the Andromeda. Yeah, let's do a nice, a nice little cruiser battle. And then we can take down the battle cruiser right after. A nice little cruiser battle. Oh, we already have them? That's fast. Now, let's get the guns in a position to fire. We have the range. Not sure exactly why you're not targeting the guy yet. Shots out. 1.5% chance to hit. Okay, we're going to slow down to full speed. Allow for accuracy to build. At this range, I think semi-armor piercing is actually good enough. Because we might just be able to plunge right through the deck armor. And inflict some decent damage that way. Sea state. Some debuffs. Not terrible. Half deck partial pen. Partial pen. For an half percent chance to hit. They continue to close the distance. They're now 16 clicks out. 15? 16. Yeah, they... Are making a mistake. Like that. 14 clicks. 13.5. Now I have been spotted. Just good luck penning the comet. Right? <laughs> oh, these things are so devilishly odd that I think they kind of exploit the game mechanics. Because you got the citadel that extends from the, the funnel to your rearmost gun, I think. Unless you have guns further forward off the main funnel. Um, I do not have any such gun on the Comet. So that's why I have a very tiny section that I really need to protect. Meaning that the main belt can be 14 inches. So I'm looking at enough belt armor to tank battleship shells. And if they pen the bow and the stern, it's annoying. It won't cause the loss of the ship. As you can see, the Comet's taking some fire, but she's not taking damage. This British heavy cruiser cannot quite say the same thing. Destroy a torpedo launcher. They don't have any torpedoes left. green level of crew. They can't even hit me properly. Comma's just chilling over here. Oh, now they've hit me. I've lost two crew members. Okay. Quite a few fires. Let's help them out. Set some more. Yeah, they're gonna be extended fire overwhelm, I think. They cannot put that out so fast. I say that, and they immediately put out six fires. Go on. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not extensive fire. Destroying another torpedo. I thought we already had all the torpedoes. Oh, not the underwater launchers. Go back to SAP. I guess we're going to have to flood them out because the fires aren't really doing it. Crew, 36% lost. Own ship, still two sailors. 10% structural, 83% buoyancy. 7% structural. Reload's quite good on the Comet. What, 20 seconds? 28. Point nine structural, and they're probably going to burn down. There you go. Structural damage got them. So, that was nice. I think the Comet doesn't really need repairs. They got zero victory points. I just need two new sailors. 
that'll probably be it. Unless I can save them, which sometimes happens. Uh, one month. Okay. Now, I can take down this convoy if I so desire. I can also just eliminate the Royal Oak with it if I wait long enough. Eliminating another battle cruiser is very nice because it allows me to project even more power in the North Sea. And with that, I'll be able to further increase my chances of doing a blockade. You guys have now been upgraded, yes? Diesels? No, you're still old. The 17 was probably undergoing repair by the time that I ordered the refit, so she was not able to get refit. Although, my logic says if the ship is being repaired, then it's in dock anyway. Might as well refit it. What are you waiting for? At least the V-19 has her Generation 2 radar. And the V-17 just still using RDF. It's fine. Convoy is 13 clicks out. Easy. Spot them any moment now. Seven clicks. Sea state. God awful. Okay. Explains a lot. Holy moly, it's you. It's not quite what I was expecting. Um, slow. We're first going to eliminate... Shit. We're first going to eliminate some of the convoy. Can we actually kill this thing? we got high capacity HE shells. So, if we fire enough at this battle cruiser, it could actually sink. It could get burnt down. Ooh! Also works ex exceptionally well against battle. No, against transports. Another one. Train the guns. Dead. Turn. At this point, they must have a fairly green crew. Unless she's been in dock for a while after I probably mistreated her before. I kind of doubt it. Kill it. Kill this. Kill this. Jesus, those DDs are getting out of hand. they seen me yet? No, they haven't. Royal Oak, on fire. Trained level of crew. Destroyed the funnel. <laughs> it's one of those, we barely have any superstructure armor class of ships. Oh, lost them. Close in. First the transport. I've achieved 50%. I still need five more. There's the battle cruiser again. Could we have it surrender? That would make for a great poster. Royal Oak surrendered. Boom. You're dead. 5% crew lost. Destroyed secondary tower. <laughs> Boom. Carry on. I gotta say, the Brits seem to be running a very old secondary tower. I mean, this is a lookout, if that. This has to be one of the oldest battle cruisers around. Ah, hello, hello. More volunteers. One. Two. Three. Oi! Calm down. Oh, I'm getting too close to the convoy. That's the problem. No, 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 no. You can hit me with half a percent chance to hit. Not good enough. You're going to need to do a lot more. Or you're going to have to use some exceptional luck. Whichever happens first. Now, my objective is to sink the convoy. So that's what I'll do. I only need two more of them. There's one. Dead. There's the last one. Convoys signify very critical supplies to the British economy. So let's take them down. 
be popping up any second. Flooding. These British battle cruisers are such a joke. I've killed them with light cruisers. I'm about to kill them with a DD. Go home. Well, I say that. Yeah, I still have 2,000 HG shells. I can probably get them to surrender. I'm just not sure if the V-19 can make it out of here alive. She's getting a bit damaged. Meaning that her top speed is now 22 knots. And this battle cruiser can do 26 in ideal circumstances. She can only do like 16 now. Yeah, my destroyer should be able to at least make it out of here. And potentially to keep fighting. She's even getting flooded. 15 knots. But I have lost my speed. So the Royal Oak now has a 6% chance to hit. This is getting more dangerous now. Smoke. Royal Oak has lost 14% of her crew. Destroyed the secondary tower yet again. And 50% structural. This thing is getting, once again, completely butchered by ships which are 1 15th of her displacement. 31,000 tons and two and a half, or 2,200 tons, 2,400 tons. They're just getting completely ridiculed. Their accuracy is now less than a percent. I think they're trying to beat a retreat. Fortunately for them, that's not a viable option. Treating is a big no-no. Uh, 16% crew lost. Uh. If I have that ship go under repairs, it, we're going to see it again in like five months. I want a debt. How can I not see it? There we go. Forty-four percent structural. Ship is still flooding. Rudders out. The nineteen is now far enough away that she can safely rejoin the fight from her concealed position. Destroyed secondary tower again. You got to make sure it stays destroyed. <laughs> Go on. Three fires. Cramped quarters. So your ability to control fires and thus damage is going down the toilet. Look at that, 76%. Every salvo, we take a bit of this off. That means that those fires are going to snowball. They're going to be less and less and less controllable. 75% control. They're going to continue to consume ship. What? Are you listing? No, you're not listing. You're just not shooting. AP? It's amusing, but no. HE is my uh, preferred method of destruction here. 29% structural. 28. 72.9% crew. 72. Can we set so many fires that the ship's going to burn up? I think we can. Look at this. This looks like a recipe for a cook-off. There we go. Extensive fire. So, nice day to barbecue another Royal Oak. And that's another British battle cruiser out of the way. As well as a convoy. Once my battleships are repaired, we're going to blockade this area. Power projection. 40,000 versus 7,000 from the Brits. 7,000? You got one CL there. You got two battle cruisers here moving towards the North Sea. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Allow me to introduce my battleships. 
we're going to up our power projection a little bit. More like a lot. Uh, you two. I'm Dolan Poison. Go just bombard a port. You invade. Mm. These are not repaired yet. These are. Go here. Invade. Okay. So the British are not quite on their knees yet. I don't know how much more they need. They got four ships. Four. That's all. What are we getting? Improved quad turrets. Hmm. Fun, but I generally don't like quads because they're so inaccurate. No, we're gonna need something else. No. They lost the transport. They're still growing? What? How did these make it through? Otto, go deal with that. Anybody here to assist? Yeah, Battlecruiser Saxon. Everybody. Intercept these bastards. Go. This. Invade. I don't know how to get port strikes. I just don't. I, I can push them here, but it's not my port, so I cannot quite move them to Dover. I was expecting to be bombarding Yarmouth as well, but I don't know how the whole port strike mechanic works. Invade. Invade means more likeliness to transport enemy merchant or to engage enemy merchant shipping. Um, should be enough, but it isn't. So in the next episode, hopefully we're going to hunt down the destroyer and the two British battle cruisers out there, and we're going to continue researching better turret mechanics so we have better fire control. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I'll see you soon for more episodes.